Hey, what's happening, guys? Check it out. I got a package in the mail from Kai Wheats. It is the KOT 936 soldering station. So let's have a let's have a look here and see what they sent. You know, looked at quite a few of their multimeters, and they're a uh, Pretty nice stuff, so I'm hoping for Okay. Let me get it all out of here and we'll take a better look. Okay, so inside the box. Start here. We have the uh, soldering iron holder with a little sponge. And it's a, a little metal plate in there for weight so it doesn't tip over. We've got a nice brass sponge. We can just sit back in there like that, and then every time you put your soldering iron in, you get a nice little clean out of it. It came with some uh, Chen Z lead free solder rosin core. Tin and copper. Diameter 0.8. And, uh, this didn't come in the box, but they also sent me a couple rolls of this. This is point six, I think. Then we have the soldering iron, the, the wand, or however you might want to call it. No, oh, that's really on there. So it is this type of tip where this comes off, and then your tip comes off, and the, your heating element is right there. Yeah, thread it back on there. Now, in addition to that very pointy conical tip. There's also this tip pack in there. We got a wedge shape, a uh, knife shape, kind of a rounder pointer, and then one for you know drag soldering. So there's some screws and some feet, a magnifying glass, and three arms. So next up, I will assemble it. All right, I've got it all assembled here. So far, I'll say, very interesting. So the soldering station itself just sits on this plate and these front feet fit down in these two slots, which keeps it all nice and level. I don't know, I think maybe I might rather have it more like this. Just easier to see the dial. Just an observation. Uh, next, the connector is a 5-pin DIN connector. There's nothing securing it. Um... If this is not something you're plugging and unplugging continuously, I don't really see it be a problem. If it is something you're unplugging and unplugging without something that's secure, it's going to wear out over time. But how long that time is, you know, who knows. All right, and there doesn't seem to be an on-off switch. See, there's... 
nothing on his dupa. And there doesn't seem to be any any click here. So we'll plug it in. And the instructions say turn it to 200 C to preheat. So there's 200 C. Nothing, nothing's happening. Turn it to 300 C. Hmm. Tell you what I'll do. We'll bring in the, uh, kilowatt here yeah nothing ah pardon me There was a switch hiding over there. My bad. So I guess that's the preheat. I'll turn this up to about 350. It's kind of hard for you to see everything there. Try and get it all on the screen. What I'm going to do now is just tin this, this iron. Huh. Oh, there it goes. I was worried there for a minute. I always like to do this a few times with the new iron. I'm going to clean it real good with a little ruby fluid. Tin it up again. For three fifty C, this doesn't seem to be. it that fast but we'll see all right let me shut her off let it cool down and we'll come back and have a look and see about its uh claims of esd and whatnot all right let's start off by seeing if the tip is grounded which it is, that's very good. That tells us two things. They've grounded the tip, obviously, and that they've carried the grounding on to the inside of the soldering station. So let's open it up and have a look inside next. Right, let's see, do I have the screws out enough? Right, there we go. Oh. Okay.
Okay. So, <laughs> there's not much going on here. We got power coming in. Well, this is fused. Going to that little fuse there. Our ground is connected directly to the transformer. Then the transformer ground is brought over through here and directly to the iron, which is good. Yeah, this is a super simple basic soldering iron. Soldering station. I love it. This is what I like. There's nothing super fancy. There's no microcontrollers. It gets hot. What more do you need? Right? Yeah, I've, I've got to say. I think Kaiwitz, Kaiwitz has a winner on their hands with this one. This seems like a really nice simple soldering station and with the little helping hands and the magnifier built on there that is just a super nice little bonus right yeah yeah I mean I can't think of anything bad in particular like you know a couple little quirks like the din plug here you know but like i said those are quirks there's nothing certainly nothing wrong with that i i like it i'm seeing a list price on these for about 68 dollars which I would be on the high range for what i i would think would be a reasonable price for this i i would say if you could find this you know 58 dollars in the in in the fifty dollar range, to, I think you'd have yourself a pretty good bargain there, and I think uh, it is going to take the place of the seal body Celodia, or heck, you say that one over there, and uh, we're going to put this on the bench and put it through its paces. I I like it, so I would like to thank Kweets for sending this out to us. You know they've been working with us for a little while, sending us interesting stuff to look at, and you know we take a look at it and. What do they get out of that? Well, you know, you might say, well, they get free advertising. Yes, but they also get to hear my opinions and your opinions, because trust me, they read this stuff. And we got to go into designing the next iteration of the product. So that that's a very cool thing. You get to feel like you're kind of part of the team. So thanks, Koitz. I like to feel like I'm part of the team, and I always do with you guys. And you guys are my team. The Learn Electronics team. Wouldn't be here without you. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, come on, subscribe. Doesn't really mean anything, but, you know, makes me feel good anyway. All warm and fuzzy. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace.